The last kind of data wrangling that we're going to talk about is performing joins. Joins are actually terms that come from the database world. And a join is essentially the way to merge together data from multiple tables, which in this case would be multiple data frames. So in order to merge together two data frames, we have to have some way of matching them up. And the things that we use to match the two tables up are called the keys. The keys are the columns that in which we try to perform the matching. So um, in the diagrams below, you can see some, uh, some tables. So here we have the first table, the table on the left, uh, it has a one in the, its key column in the first row and a two in its second row and a three in its third row. But the table on the right has a one in the first row and a two in the second row, which matches with the first table, but the third row does not have a three in it. So the key in the third row does not match any row in the other table. So the question is, what do you do in the cases where the two tables do not have any matches in their keys? There are a number of different options. We're going to just talk about two of them. The one option, which is called an inner join, means that we only match together, we only join together rows if they have matching keys. So in this situation, we would match up rows one and rows two and give them both the key that they have in common and then put in the values from the left table and the right table. But the rows that don't match get uh, ignored or thrown out. The, and that's called an inner join. The other way that we can do this is what's called a full outer join. And in a full outer join, we don't throw any information away. So for any rows that have matching keys, we go ahead and create in the output table the um, col both of the columns from the two tables. But in the cases where we have um, rows that don't match, we create a new row in the table that's missing the key, and we populate it with NAs. So for example, the left table here has a value, has a value for the key of three, but there isn't any in the right table. So we put in the value from the left table, but for the right value of the right table, we put in uh, a missing value. And the same thing applies then on the right table. It has a key for four, for a, a value of four for its key. And so we go ahead and in, the, in that column, we include that value, but for the left table, which is missing uh, that key, we just put in missing values. There are a lot of other ways that you can do the matching, like uh, called left joins and right joins and so on, but um, we won't get into those permutations. You can uh, explore them more on your own.